all doing well in training and staying focused, keeping the right disciplines and making sure you're not doing the wrong disciplines, okay, in life. But a quick video today, okay, um, it's common sense, but it's easier said than done for a lot of people, okay. So if you're watching my channel and you're younger, because I, when I was younger I did this myself, when I was really young, okay, not when I was doing well with my boxing, not when I was taking my boxing seriously and winning all the fights and getting all the, the experience, but when I was just beginning my boxing and I wasn't too serious, I was doing it myself, okay, so I'm going to make this video, it's not pointless, some of you guys out there are guilty of it, okay, it might be you. How it is, what I'm talking about, okay, if you're training, you've got to live it, breathe it, sleep it and eat it, boxing, okay, you've got to train, study, learn, sleep, eat, breathe, boxing, okay? Of course you've got your family, you've got your work and your, your social and your girlfriend and everything else, okay? But <clears throat> you need to focus on your boxing if you want to to improve and to, to do anything with the sport if you're taking it serious, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to take boxing serious, you can't be out drinking every weekend, okay? And you can't be taking drugs, Okay, you can't be messing up your body. Your body needs to be pure, it needs to be clean. Because if your body's clean and it's not got all this stuff in your system, your mind will work better. And if your mind is working better, your re everything is better. Your confidence, your reflexes, your timing, okay, your intuition, everything works better. But if you're taking too much drugs or drink, if that's one of your... Um, <clears throat> I Believe me, I know boxers who's had 70 fights, really good amateur boxers, a friend of mine. <laughs> And even the drink can the drink can pull them back, you know, it's like you've got worst enemies. You'll end up sabotaging, self-sabotaging, okay? You'll get good opportunities in boxing, tournaments and stuff, and as it's coming up, you're self-sabotaging, you start drinking or something, and you'll switch off just before you need to be sharpening up, and you'll lose because deep down your subconscious is self-sabotaging, okay? You've got to do this boxing shit for you, okay? You've got to snap out of all these self-sabotage, uh, you're drinking, you're taking drugs and stuff. Uh, if you're trying to train, you're trying to improve, you've got to be aware of when these temptations come up and uh, you've got to let sacrifice to grow. You've got to let go of some things. You've got to let go of these parties. You've got to let go of abusing your body and overdoing it and taking drugs and putting the wrong things in your system. And you've got to focus on it and you've got to live, breathe, eat, sleep and learn everything boxing or MMA, mixed martial arts or whatever sport it is you do or if you you want to do really well in anything, you know, you've got to live and breathe it, okay? And it's common sense, but I'm, I'm making the video anyway because when I was younger, you know, <clears throat> I won my first fight and I celebrated, I got all the drugs and drink I could find and I partied so hard celebrating and when the second fight came around a week later, the opportunity, I wasn't ready for it, I still had stuff in my system, I, was, I didn't have the eye of the tiger. I went in there, I was still spaced out, you know. That was my young days, but I'm straight up being honest, years and years and years ago, I was around that life, and it, and I should have walked over this guy, I should have smashed this guy, stopped him even, but because I had all this in my system, I didn't have no killer instinct, I didn't want to hurt the guy, I just went in there and to hit him, I didn't want to hurt him, you know. And I lost that easy fight I should have won. So that's my experience, but, um. A lot of people, like my sparring partner, he was out on a big bender, as I said in the last video. He was he was out having a big, lots of drink and everything else, you know. And uh, he, he didn't make the training, but he came the next day to make up for it. But he still wasn't on point, he still wasn't sharp, his reflexes weren't there. You can see in some of the clips here, he's he didn't have the eye of the tiger, he didn't have the hunger, because he was still recovering, he was still detoxifying from a hard weekend. But hey, that's it. It's not that important, because he's just, he's just, he's just a... I mean, he's just coming up, he's just getting started in this boxing, so it's not as serious as some, some of you that are more serious in it, but it's just a point to keep in mind, okay? Sometimes if you feel you're living that life, you may be best just not to go to the gym, you may be best to just take it off, you know, like you've got to put your mind, heart, soul, everything has to be focused on boxing, okay? Because it's uh, it's 90% mental, you know, it's, it's really mental, and uh, if you're not all there, <clears throat> it's a dangerous sport. Okay, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna take some shots you don't need to take, it, and it's going to, it might affect you. So that's just to keep in mind, you're only young once, you got forever to party, you know, everyone can do it, it's easy, it's what everyone does. But if you've got opportunity, 
and it's coming. Don't fuck it up, don't self-sabotage, keep your training good, go all in. If you've got a big tournament or a big championship or whatever coming up, don't self-sabotage. Live it, breathe it, okay? Sleep it, eat it, study it, okay? So that you dominate. And you can always party and drink later on. And it's not for everyone, you still have to enjoy life. But I'm just making this video because it is a point. And everyone goes through stages where this could be relevant. Keep it in mind, when it's time to, to train and box and dominate, you go all in. You fight as often as you can, you train all the time, and you just go monk mode boxing, okay? Monk mode, mixed martial arts, whatever your profession is that what you watch my video, just think about it. Are you are you going to go all in, fully commit, or are you going to go half in, you know? Just because there's consequences to both. You only get one shot at this light. I'm out, just on my mind, so I'm putting it out there. I'll get some good content to you next week or so, okay? Next weekend, I'll hit you with some good stuff. I'm out.